Hello, welcome to the video number 12 of the series Exploring ROS with a Chewy Led Robot. In this video, we're gonna see the algorithm called Bug2, motion planning algorithm, working, and let's see how we implemented the code line by line. So, in order to show that, I'm gonna use RDS, ROS Development Studio, as usual. If you don't have an account yet, you can create one following this link here, sign up. You can find the link at the description of the, vi the video. As I have my own account already, I'm going to just do the sign-in. And here at the main page, okay, so I have a project running already. Let me show you, after creating your account, you're going to be able to see this page here, the list of public projects. In this case, I have a private one. You can create one from the scratch, doing just following these instructions here, create a new project, and you can clone the repositories, the same uh, you can find at the description of the video or if you prefer you can just share your email with me at the comments and I can share with you my project uh, which is already configured and working okay so let's open it wait a few seconds and we have the environment ready to start developing so let's start running a simulation so we have here let's start the word number two for this example and in the meantime let's open the IDE and start looking at the code so here we have bug2 script so basically for this video from the previous version to this one the, uh, you can follow at the repository the last commit but I'm gonna explain basically the modifications are this new file here, bug2.py, which is the main script to execute the task, and bug2.launch file, which is basically restarting the robot, setting the desired position, initial and desired position, okay? And we are starting the subtasks called follow wall, go to point, and the main task, the manager of the other algorithms, bug2.py, which is the new script here, okay? Uh, basically, we have just one more one more function here in the code which is called distance to line and it requires a bit knowledge of geometry if you don't remember exactly how to do that okay I, I have to confess that I didn't remember how to do that so you can follow also at the description of the video a link of Wikipedia and you can see the equation that we are using here to calculate the distance of the robot to the line that we have to describe to the point, okay? Uh, why is that? Because basically, bug2 defines that we have to define a, an imaginary line from the initial position of the robot, okay? So let's start here and we can see how it works. Uh, as you can see here, we are defining the initial position of the robot in y equals to h so which is basically more or less at this point here and the desired position for x it's zero and for y minus four okay so it, it is right one two three four at this point here okay so you can use this uh, lighter line here of the simulation uh, that's exactly the same line we are we are creating in the bug, bug2 algorithm, okay? Uh, now in the terminal, let's launch it. So we have RAS launch. First of all, let's spawn the robot. So my two robot description is spawn. And here is the robot. Okay, the robot has crashed, so let's start. Ross launch, motion plan, bug2. And remember inside the algorithms we have a service. We are calling a service from Gazebo, which is restoring the position, which is resetting the position of the robot to the desired initial position. Okay, that's why I'm not worried about the robot being like this. <laughs> okay, so let's launch it. And the robot must 
be positioned here in a few seconds. There it is. And now, as you can see, the distance of the robot to the line is almost zero. Okay, so we have a value here very close to zero. And now the distance is getting uh, higher because the, the robot is following the wall. Okay, basically the robot tries to follow the line from the initial position to the desired point. And after reaching an obstacle, it starts following the wall and following the wall until the robot gets very close or let's say over the, the line, the imaginary line we have created here. Okay, so as you can see, the distance to the line is getting lower, lower, and now it's very close. So I have defined if the robot gets uh, closer than 0 0.1 meter to the line, okay? That's enough for us, for this application here. Of course, you have to tune this value according to your application, according to your needs. And now the robots reach another obstacle, as you can see. And we are gonna follow the wall until we get to the line again. Okay, so as you can see, the value gets higher until four, four something meters. And now we are, it's decreasing again. We are getting closer to the line. And here we are again. We are over the line or very close to the line, close enough. And go straight to the point again. Great, so finish. We have reached the desired position. So now let's take a look to the code. Now that you can see the we saw how it works. Uh, basically, from I have started from bug zero algorithm because also in bug zero we have only two states: go to point and while following. And we have the same for bug two. Okay. Uh, as you can see here, change state uh, states. We have go to point and while following. And we have to change between only between these two states. And I have created the distance to line function. Here we are calculating using this equation here. Okay, you can debug if you want later. Uh, and finally, in the main function, I am counting again as we did for the bug one algorithm. I am counting the time we are in a state. Why? Because every time we reach an obstacle, we are over the line. We are over the imaginary line between the initial position and the desired position. So, of course, you cannot uh, you cannot try to change the state when you get close to an obstacle. And, of course, the robot is over the line because you started following this line. So, we have to wait a few seconds until we start following the obstacle, until we want to get back to the, go to the point again, until we reach the line again, okay? So, uh, we are counting the time, we are counting the number of times we are inside the loop, and which is the same value here of the frequency, of course, 20 hertz, and counting the state time in seconds, and every time we change the state, we are restarting the value, okay? So count state time equals to zero. And finally, also inside the loop, we are calculating the distance to the line. And here I am defining the, the value which fits to my need, which is 0 0.1. This value is enough and it solves the problem. Okay, so basically that's it. As you can see, uh, we have already many, many algorithms that we can use. For example, the go to point, the wall following. We have also developed the circumnavigate obstacle, but we have used only for the bug one algorithm. And as you can see between the bug zero, one and two, we are only changing the rules that we have to follow uh, to change the states that the robot must use. But the tasks, they are very look like to each other but we have only to work on the rules that we have to follow. Okay, uh, great, so I hope it can help you. 
If you like this video, don't forget, uh, give thumbs up. And if you like this kind of video about robotics, about ROS, don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we publish a new video about ROS every day. Thank you, guys. See you.